Yeah, it was still there a few years ago. But nothing but pictures now. More of my scratch built log cars and one with a load of logs on it. So anyway, we continue on up. This is all up upgrade to another siding where in the back is the second siding track and it goes up into a switchback fairly steep and then at the top of this one will be my uh, where my ledger would tower skitter will end up this will be the skitter show up here be one big massive clear cut a few of my trees that I've been stockpiling and building over the last 20 years it's nice finally getting them to plant it into solid ground anyway my uh, caboose I built when I was 14 years old article from railroad model craftsman it's holding up pretty decent for for the age of it it's been traveled around banged around for a few few miles different hoses this is a PFM 90 ton two truck once I get it all lettered for Bloedel it'll be number nine which was the main locomotive down at Franklin in the, in the early early days 30 34 on used for uh, switching and for mainline until they got some uh, some of the big rod locomotives there this one I picked up off of eBay years ago and in the back there is Bodell Stewart and Welch's crummy number four I built that on the Bachman Gandy Dancer and then I scratch built the cab on it and lengthened the, the wheelbase once again all we got really is just a few pictures that I can work from and kind of judge the height of different guys standing beside it to get dimensions and a lot of freelancing but it'll look pretty good when it's all done runs pretty smooth for for uh, being a short wheelbase you know that will continue on and that will go down back down grade and then up in the back side is the uh, upper line which was the original line that Franklin used and uh, it went up to Corrigan Creek which was the first Camp B and then Parsons Creek which was the second and then the third was at the top end of Coleman Valley where it was until it shut down in the in the 80s the camp itself still remained a logging camp for the shop was there till the 90s that's the high trestle over the upper reaches of Franklin River and this area will be the they call it called it the top of the canyon canyon cut on uh, Franklin Rivers Camp A line and this was in 1934 was a major major obstacle for them they uh, they could blast it and engineer it but they didn't have the uh, the equipment available to move the rock so finally they ended up getting some big cats down there some of the early cats and they eventually got through but that was a main major problem for for a while they were actually I I'd heard rumors that they were originally they were going to abandon the line once they cuz they couldn't get through it so what they did was they came back about a mile down the, the main line and put a spur in and started logging because they had